Hello, this is Martin Espinosa from the Press Democrat. I don't know if you guys can hear me. There's a generator over here making a lot of noise, but there's been a power failure here at the intersection of uh, Farmers Lane and 4th Street since early this morning. Uh, probably around, what was it? Eight, a little before, or maybe 7.40? Uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure the exact time, but this intersection here at Farmers Lane and and uh, and Fourth Street is kind of a key intersection. It's got a lot of traffic going through it, and right now the power's out, so everybody's just kind of taking their turn. And uh, as you can see, the traffic this morning on on uh, on Highway 12 was backed up all the way to Calistoga Road. It's not so bad right now because it's uh, past commute, past the morning commute. But they're saying that this that this uh, repair, which happened right around here, I'm gonna pan, a, pan over. It happened over here at, at Hanks Creekside. It looks like it was this transformer up here. There's the work that's going on right now. So when. Now, due to the storm, I'm not sure, but I think uh, it was uh, caused possibly by the by, by lightning. And again, when this intersection light got knocked out, it was just horrendous traffic over here, up mostly east of this intersection on Highway 12 and uh, south of this intersection on Farmer's Lane. The traffic's really bad. I mean, if there's any way you guys can avoid that, that would be great. It's not so bad again, it's not so bad now, but it was really bad this morning during commute, so. And we're told that this repair could take all day, which means that come four, three, three o'clock, four o'clock, it's gonna get bad up out here again. It, it took me 45 minutes to get to downtown Santa Rosa from Calistoga Road on Highway 12. 45 minutes. It's a drive that usually takes me around 12 minutes. Let's see if we can get find out what kind of work's going on over here. What kind of work are they doing up there? Oh, so they're gonna drop the line and add a new one. They're gonna drop right. drop the line that goes across? Yeah. They're gonna drop the line that goes across and add a new one. I can't hear you. What'd you say? No, I was talking to oh. them. Was it a transformer or was it a just a I'm not sure of the extent of the damage. It's okay. But well, right now they're just working on the line. There hasn't been a delivery of a transformer, so it might not be a transformer. Do you think this will get done before the, uh, the afternoon commute? Hard to say. Sometimes you think you're done and you test it and you're not. Yeah. I'm not gonna stay here too much longer. I mean, it's basically this. I just, I just wanted to let everybody know that this is an intersection you should probably try to avoid. We got three trucks out here, one working, three PG&E trucks, one working on a, lines over there across Farmer's Lane, one working up here on the other side of this line that they're trying to replace, and then one working over there. And again, this intersection is, is light. It's going to be down. So what happens is everybody's basically taking their turn as they would at a four uh, a four way stop sign, which backs everything up because these lights are timed and they have video sensors as well. So 
this is a very smart intersection. It uh, it has a lot of uh, it has well, it's, it has software that uh, that monitors the the, the, the traffic here. Uh, the lights are timed again certain parts of the day. They also have sensors to detect whenever there's uh, people coming up to the intersection. So it's a kind of a complex combination of uh, timing and and sensors and all of that's down so it's just basically become a very stupid uh, intersection I talked to a deputy traffic uh, engineer Rob Sprinkle and basically said this is this gives you an, an idea of how how uh, you know how much we rely on these traffic signals to get things moving so anyway, I think I'm going to sign out. This is Martin Espinosa, the Press Democrat.